What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Geekly Goods. The name is Leo Rydell and today we are here to review Uglies, a new movie coming up on Netflix based on the 2005 or 6 novel of the same name, which stars Joey King, Chase Stokes, Laverne Cox, Keith Powers, Brianna, Brianne Hsu, and Morn is directed by MCG, who if you didn't know him, does the Charlie's Angels movies. Also, this is a world in which a compulsory operation wipes out physical differences and makes everyone pretty which is the plot synopsis from imdb but y'all listen let's dive into this one because i'm so conflicted about this one because there's a lot to like but there's some i just don't quite like as much but let's talk about what does work and honestly i do think joey king works i know some people don't really like joey king and i i really liked her in the series about gypsy blanchard and i liked a lot of stuff she's been in i think she's a good protagonist here though i'll talk a little bit more about tally because i wanted a little bit more about that character but We'll dive into that a little bit later. I did like Joey King though. I do think she provides good expressions and really does a good job in my opinion of ushering the film along. I think she's a good main character material. Maybe not quite Katniss Everdeen height, but maybe Katniss Everdeen light. I really enjoyed Joey King's performance though. I think the lore behind this world is very interesting. I think you got a lot going for it with the pretties and the uglies and the way that the uglies are supposed to turn pretty when they're 16. There's a lot of relevant messaging and themes to today's generation, I believe. I think there is an obsession with beauty and I think that this is a very cool movie to come out and say like, hey, you can just be who you are and be the most beautiful person in the world as you are and I like that this movie establishes these sides where people think they need to look a certain way for society to work for them and it doesn't and I like that this movie is so timely of a message. I catch myself doing it, you know, scrolling on TikTok, and I really like those things about it. So let's get into what doesn't quite work about uglies. The CGI. Yikes. I mean, like, seriously, there are some scenes that look PS2, PS3 video game-ish. Not that this is anything new for Netflix. We know that they've had some spotty CGI before, but woo, some of the visuals were very spotty, y'all. Then again, I did watch a screener, so maybe in the final cut of the film, the graphics are a little more finished. But wow, the, the CGI did not look very good. There's a, a, a skateboarding scene where it's like the hovering boards and... Whew, there's a couple of times where that just looked very uncanny valley. So uh, I don't know if it's maybe because it wasn't finished visually, but whew, the CGI looked rough. Uh, speaking of rough, the script was very rough. There are some lines in this movie that are just delivered so woodenly, which has to do with some acting. But at the same time, there are just some lines that I just noticed the script doesn't do some of these actors any favors. Like there are just some moments in this movie where it's just like, did this dude really just say that? It's it, it just not a great script. Definitely reminds you of a young adult novel and book, and maybe I'm wondering if I've aged out? I don't know, the first Twilight movie, when you go back and watch it, if you weren't a big fan of Twilight in the first place, maybe you didn't quite love that first movie on a rewatch, but I don't know, I feel like the quality of the movie is just not quite up to par with young adult movies that came out in my era of being a young adult. Y'all listen, that era with Twilight, with, I act like I'm 40 years old guys, I was definitely a teenager during that time, but Twilight and Harry Potter and Hunger Games, those were like your big three of young adult novels turned into movies and I feel like this is like the light version of that. It's kind of like the Tubi version if you will, but put on by Netflix. So. It's definitely young adult movies light, I, which let's be 100% real here. Some of them don't land the plane well. I'm looking at you, Divergent. So maybe this will land the plane a little bit better than some of them. I think timing wise, it just feels a little too late. And because of that, there is a lot of predictability. The way the stories move, what gets uncovered, what's actually happening. I was able to figure out in the movie very, very quickly. And it's because I've seen this story before, you know, whether it's labeled Hunger Games or Divergent, or we've seen the dystopian society that has weird trials already. So I think that we have seen that so much. And what's crazy is this book came out around the same time when Twilight and these books were getting bigger 
I just think the movie is late to the game. So you already have these established movies in your uh, Hunger Games and in Divergent. Divergent, not as much. You already kind of have that dystopian young adult novel, novel market cornered, but then you come out with another one, it feels too late. I also think there's a big pacing issue here. Like, it's going so quick. I mean, this is an hour 42 compared to... I don't know. I, I would have to look this up, but I, I feel like most young adult is around the 2 to 2.15, two and a half hour mark because it gives us time to really breathe with these characters. This is a thick book that's come to life. Give us a little bit more time with these characters. I had to just look up the name. I hardly even knew David by the end of the movie. I just felt like I didn't know enough about his family. I didn't know enough about him. I felt like we rushed these characters so much that we just don't really get to know them all that well. Even Tally could use a little bit more. And Tally, as a main character, her conflicted mindset of the uglies and the pretties and society outside of this is very conflicting. You know, you can tell that she wants to get away from it. Maybe show me that a little bit more. Get, give us a little beat about that. Now, there's some scenes where we see like her parents have accepted the pretty stick trial and I maybe wanted a little bit more time with some of that. We get that in the beginning, but not so much when we get to later in the story. But guys, listen, I think Uglies for a certain audience is really gonna hit. I think if you love YA, I think if you love that genre, this is gonna hit for you. And I think for some, it's gonna really land. But for me, uh, I hate to say it because I think it has so much potential. I think it's just pretty mediocre. I think if you had, I'm gonna just say it. I think if you had a different director, I think if you had maybe a stronger cast, you can keep Joy King, but may, uh, you can keep the, the actor who plays David. Maybe the rest of them can be cycled out. Honestly, I'm gonna just keep it real. I, uh, Laverne Cox was good too. Maybe I, maybe not the cast. We can keep the cast, but if we just change directors and writers, maybe this could have came out closer to Hunger Games and less close to the third movie in Divergent. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments. How do you feel about Uglies? If you've seen it already, let me know. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know, are you looking forward to it? I feel like this one's not getting a lot of chatter online, but I've seen some in like the deeper YA community. So I'm curious, my young adult novel readers who have read this book, what did you think about the book and what did you think about the movie? Let me know down in the comments and hey, if you're new to the channel, come on back for more movie reviews, reactions, and more. Head on over to the shorts tab for Marvel updates and we'll see you guys next time on Geekly Goods.